than our normal ones. Um, as you guys all know, I lost my niece this past week to a you know, drunk driver. And things have been not been too easy. And as you guys also know, they have not caught him yet. Well, actually, they have not arrested him yet. They know who it is. They have all this information. They have everything. They just have not, like, did anything about it right now. So we as a family are going to be luring up and going about this the legal way and trying to press charges or murder charges on him. At least be Hitler manslaughter charges, if nothing else. You know, just so that he has to pay in some way, some fashion. Um, she was so young and everything. She didn't even have life insurance or anything like that on her. So this is coming out of all of our pockets, out of the family, and it's bleeding us dry. But it will do anything for family, you know, because it's family. You would do the same thing for your family, too. So I'm starting a fundraiser. It's going to be all through my PayPal, which is in the link below, so that we can get it faster and get it to my family faster. But it's going to be all for legal bills. It's going to be for her funeral costs. It's also going to be to help her children because, you know, half the income has gone out of their household down, too. How many children does she have? She has two. Wow, what are their ages? Four and three. Oh, my God, this poor baby. Mm -hmm. That's horrible. Four and three years old. So, I mean, now they have to grow up without their mama. Yeah, that's really sad. Yeah, it really is. So, as you guys know, I've also been working on a video that I'm making for my family. You know, especially for those two little girls so that they always know and remember their mama. You know, because, oh, that's sweet of you. You know, that they hear her voice and stuff, especially the older they get. Yeah. Yeah. Just say that you can't forget her. You have her voice and the recordings and stuff? Oh, awesome. Yep. And they got into her phone finally for me. And so they sent me all of her pictures, all of her videos, everything wow. out of her phone. Okay. So, that's why you haven't seen too much out of me for the past few days is because I have been trying my hardest to get this video together and it's been one of the hardest things to ever put together. You know, you never, yeah, you never plan for this stuff. Like when it happens, it's, it takes a big toll on you. And, um, you know, as you guys know, my viewers, you know that it's hard when you lose somebody and then you see what I went through. So, you know, just this part makes it a little easier when, you know, somebody steps in and tries to help out a little bit with the money factor of it. And it definitely, um, alleviate some stress and stuff that everybody's going through because grief is like the worst pain ever, yeah. pain ever. And it's not like they had a lot of money to begin with, you know? I mean, they were trying their hardest. They were both young adults trying to make everything work with two babies, you know? So, I mean, it, this has just taken a huge blow to everybody in the family. So we're, what we're trying to do is to raise as much money as we can to fight the legal fees, to put this murdering asshole, excuse my French, but to put him behind bars where he belongs. For the simple fact that he was drunk, he was driving, he sped up to hit her. It's not like he didn't see her or anything. He saw her and he sped up to run over her, to kill her. Wow. So in that way right there, he needs to go to jail, you know, guys. He, he's just, this is just a bad situation, you know, because we are dealing with a tremendous loss. And if this is the least I can do, because I wasn't able to get up there, and there was no way that I was going to be able to come up with that money to get tickets to go up there in just that short notice, especially with it being a holiday weekend, you yeah. know. I mean, the tickets were so freaking expensive. It was just, it was nuts. So I'm trying to do everything I can for my family, guys. I'm not asking you guys to give me money or anything. I'm just asking you if you guys want to help, you know, to help out my family, to help out through this hard situation, to help out those girls, you know, it would be much appreciated if you guys donated something, you know? But I'm not here going to be begging you guys, to like, please give me money or anything, because that's not the way it is, you know? I just, I'm trying to do something nice, and I'm trying to relieve some of the stress of my family. Because, I mean, it's been a lot of money that has went out for all of this. And, uh, she's being cremated and her funeral is tomorrow. So, Friday. Yeah, I'm the video out tonight. Yep, yeah, the video's going to be going out tonight. So, this is Thursday, guys. So, her funeral is tomorrow. Her viewing was this past Monday. And then we had her cremated. And we had it only for this special part of her family. You know, the immediate family. Um, no 
friends know and extended family were allowed at that one. And from what everybody told me, she looked good, but you could definitely see the wounds all over her. And apparently she had a huge, huge head wound. Oh wow. So yeah, I, I don't really care to see that. I did. Which is sad. But what my niece Kim told me is that the girls were actually smiling and moving their hugs. You know, so I'm sorry I'm trying to hold you together. I know, you're making me cry. Like, I remember, you know, when um, my brother's funeral, I remember his kids and my kids just in tears. Trenton was crying so loud. Like, everybody heard from around the, the uh, place where we had his service. Okay. It was just it's horrible. Like, the kids, like, that's the saddest thing is the fact that she had kids. Because now they're left without a mother. Exactly. And that's the part that just it, it infuriates me so much. Is yeah. How can you take somebody's life? Who is a mother? You know, who did everything for those babies. Yeah. I mean, the way that their household worked is she was the one who did all the kids stuff. You know, he worked and he made the money and he came home and he... Yeah, now it's quite hard for him to work. Yep, because now he's got the kids too. And on top of it, not only was she taking care of her too, but she's also taking care of her stepsister's son too, who was the same age as her youngest, which was three. And uh, that was a messed up situation because her stepsister lost her kid. Yeah. You know, so my niece was the one raising not just her two, but that one also, a school Skyler. Yeah. So now they're all left without her. And the part that's so messed up about this whole entire situation is they're so young, they don't understand it. You know, like for the first few days, they were kept asking, where's mommy, when's mommy coming home? And then everybody has to tell her, she's not coming, she's not coming. Yeah, that's the hardest part. A lot of times they think that she's just on vacation and she's gonna come back in the door. Yeah, and it happened when they were in bed. So they went to bed, having her there. Wow. And they wake up, she's in the Wow. That's like more heartbreaking as I know the story. Yeah. It was, it's one of those situations where I tried so hard to be strong and I tried so hard to be that glue that my family needs right now. But I'm even breaking. <laughs> I know. And I'm the one that doesn't break. And so when I, when I normally cry, it's because you better run because I'm about ready to beat somebody's ass. <laughs> Because it's anger cut like tears. This time it's just, I keep stopping. Yeah. And I've been, I went for a week, like over a week now. That's hard. It's one of the hardest things we go through in life. You know, so I'm tired of losing my family members to drunk drivers. Yeah. I am so sick and tired of it. And I swear, there's nothing more selfish, and I said this before, but there's nothing more selfish in this world than getting behind that wheel and driving while you are intoxicated on anything. I don't care who you are, but you are a selfish individual that does that. Yeah, you gotta think about other people, <coughs> the other lives that are at stake. Yeah, because he walked away just fine. I was gonna say a lot of people that are, you know, drunk and driving or intoxicated on something and driving, a lot of times they make it yeah. because their bodies are so relaxed, you know, and other people, they tense up and they're more likely to die. Exactly. So, you know, with this guy, he didn't even have a scratch on him. Not a single scratch. He killed my knees, but he walked away scot free. You know, that's so unfair. And then when the cops come and confront him, that he sits there and tries to lie about it. Oh, I didn't do that. Oh, that wasn't me, you know? We can see the damage done on your truck, dude. Yeah. You know, there's no way that you can do it. We have tons of eyewitnesses. We know exactly who did it. We even know where he lives. <laughs> so it's kind of like in that situation of like, we're damned if we do and damned if we don't. Yeah. Because no matter, even if we get him in jail and get him locked up and make him pay, which we want more than anything, it's still not going to bring the fact that she's never going to come back. Yeah. You know, definitely don't bring her back, but yeah. But it's the least that we can do, you know, to give her some type of justice. Because in this situation, it's completely unfair. It was never asked for. I mean... I love you guys all for all the love and all the support that you guys have given me for this past week. I really appreciate it. I could not have gotten it, gotten through all this without you guys. But there's no greater will and there's no great plan out of this. You know, there's nothing to look forward to in the end of this except to see her when we pass away too. 
and I mean that's kind of frustrating. And as paranormal investigators, we deal with death on a daily basis. You know, it's something that we are so used to. It's just second nature to us. But when it comes to situations yeah, like this, when it's your loved one, it, it just it hits home a whole lot different. And it's just it's like a numbing pain. It's just it's hard to describe unless you've been through it. Nobody will understand unless they've been through a loss like of a really close person. You know, even with me, with my experiences of losing my brother, my stepfather. Um, you know, those are the I've lost other people too, friends, grandparents. But those are the two closest things. You know, my circle is half. It was me, my mom, my brother, and my stepdad, and now it's just me and my mom. So, you know, having a you know a knife put in your chest, like it's, it's the worst pain ever. It is. You would not never know until you go through it yourself. It's like having your heart being ripped out of your chest while you're still being awake and unable to stop anything. Yeah. You know, it is one of the most painful feelings I think I've ever felt in my life. And for those of you, I know there, you know, there's always haters, and I know some people will say, you know, they've made very hateful comments on my channel, of, you know, about my brother passing and my stepfather, and very hateful. But you know what? It'll happen to you too. One day you will lose somebody. You'll lose a child. You'll lose a mother. You'll lose a brother, sister, somebody. Then maybe you'll look back at, you know, our videos and appreciate who we are as people. Exactly, because we the whole entire reason why we even got into this is because of grief, because of loss, because of that pain and that hurt, you know? And I mean, I know that I have experienced it more times than I can count. I know she has too, you know? And that's what brings us to being what we do, is to bring peace to others yeah. that have went through what we have went through. You know, and that's all that we want to do, is to make people feel better and to understand the what happens when you pass away because it's still a big huge mystery it is you know yeah but that's what we want to get to out there to you guys so thank you guys all for everything i really appreciate it um i'm not doing a gofundme and because they take too much out of it and it takes forever to get that money to the family that's why we're doing all through paypal because i can actually take that money out and send it that day you know, so it's within, it's in her hands within minutes instead of within weeks to yeah. months, you know. So that's why we're doing it all through PayPal, you guys, just so that that's called cleared up and everything for you guys. But we really appreciate everything from you guys. You guys are the MVPs. We would be here without you guys. We appreciate it all. But thank you. I love you guys.